It's a whole new definition of the term string theory. A local group has created a unique dance and musical performance featuring instruments you have never seen or heard before. You only get a picture when we pull out and give you the wide shot here. This cutting edge group of dancers and musicians will perform under the stars at the Ford Amphitheater in Hollywood on Thursday night. They'll be using an enormous playable harp. The giant curved harp is over 200 feet long and we were there today for the installation. Joining us live from the Ford Amphitheater is Luke Rothschild. He's the composer, the inventor, and the performer who helps bring us these unusual performances. Thanks for taking a break from the installation to join us. Or, Luke, perhaps My you should be thanking us for giving you a break. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. It's my pleasure to be, to, to be sharing this with you and, and your viewers. And uh, it's been, it's been a, a pretty good day for our install. L little, little less sun than normal, so that was nice. We got our, our harp up and we got our strings up and now Holly and Joey are playing it a little bit, getting, making sure that the tuning is right and the sound is right. Is that what we're hearing in the background there? Yeah, that's what you're hearing in the background. Okay, so how did you come up with this idea? Were you lying in bed one night and decided, you know, I think I'm going to put together a little show with a 200-foot harp? Well, um, I was studying at the Art Institute in Chicago, and I had learned, some friends and I in the sculpture department had learned about some long strings, some people doing some long string work. And uh, so we, we kind of studied it and adapted it, and uh, it's been a 10-year journey uh, with string theory um, to, to develop these resonators and how to build them and install them, and then also how to play them. My wife Holly's a choreographer, and she's developed a language of movement that, that allows a harpist to play the harp in a physical way. Well, the sound is exquisite. It really is beautiful. Talk to me a little bit about the musicians here. Are they classically trained uh, musicians? Do they play string instruments? Well, we have in the group, in string theory, we have a very, very vast kind of pool of different kinds of musicians. We've got some classically trained musicians that study Baroque cello or went to Vienna and studied opera and violin. And we also have some jazz musicians and some musicians that come from a rock and roll background. So there's a nice blend. And um, as far as the harp is concerned, um, Holly has developed the, uh, the way of playing it in a, in a physical way and I think uh, the classical musicians have a lot of a good input on how to approach that instrument in particular. Well, you talk about choreography. Is there dance involved with this or is it strictly the movement in playing the notes on the harp? Well, there's a couple different ways it happens. There's the movement inherent in playing the harp, and then there's also dance that happens. On certain pieces, we have dance that's actually going to be happening up and down the back area. We're trying to utilize the whole space of the Ford Amphitheater. It's such a beautiful venue. We're going to be having some cone arms and smoke skirts and um, uh, the helmets. These are all names of choreography pieces that have been designed to go with the live music. So uh, it's both, basically, Colleen. All right. Well, Luke, congratulations to you. And String Theory, Thursday night at the Ford uh, Amphitheater in Hollywood. In Hollywood. Uh, StringTheoryProductions.com is the website. All right. Good luck to you. Thanks again. Thanks so much, Colleen. Now back to work.